You want your work to stand out, right? You want to be the best. So we're going to talk about some crazy title animation techniques that is going to do just that. It's going to make your work stand out. We're going to talk about how to create some staggered fluid title animations, how to do auto box resizing and repeatable titles, which are all very easy to do. So as always, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and I hope everyone is doing awesome today. Let's jump into the tutorial and let's get started. All right, so we'll start off some momentum and we'll create these really awesome background titles here that are constantly repeated. They're very easy to do. So here we are in tutorial composition and I have a title very big stretching across our composition. And I can go up to effect stylize and grab CC repeat tile. And I'm gonna hit P on my keyboard for position and add a keyframe for position. I'll move forward to the end of our animation and I'll animate this in any direction that I want. So I can just move this over like this. Then I'll come here to our effect and grab expand left or right, depending on which way we animated it on. And that will easily allow us to animate beyond our title very easily and it'll repeat it and it looks great. And you come here to tiling and you get some unique looks here if you just play with it. But that's how you can create a repeatable title. And you can add additional titles that just have a stroke outline and you can create a stroke outline very easily. What you can do is click on the no fill color and you'll come here to your stroke width and you can increase the stroke width and that'll allow you to have a stroke title. So now we have the ability to create endless titles very easily. So that was just a background animation but we wanna be able to put our main titles uh, up front and easy to read. And I just have one word in here and I can grab the rectangle tool here at the top and I'll draw out a box like this. And we'll make sure that layers underneath our uh, title layer. Okay, so one technique I wanna show is how to do auto box resizing. What we'll do is we'll open up our shape layer and we'll go to rectangle one, go to rectangle path one and we'll all click the stopwatch for size. And what we're gonna do is type in S equals, grab the pick whip here and pick whip this to our title layer. Then I'm going to have this pasted in the description, so just copy and paste this, but we're just going to go ahead and paste in the rest of this uh, expression here. And this is going to allow us to size the box to our title. So just go ahead and check our description and you just copy that and paste that right underneath the first line of code that we did. And then if we come here, we can change our title and boom, look at that. That's beautiful. Now make sure that your title was paragraph middle line, but look at that. Beautiful. Now, we want to be able to size the box up a little bit more. So what we're going to do is we'll come here to add and we're going to add a offset paths and we'll open up offset paths one and where it says amount, we can increase this. Beautiful. Now, as before, you can continue to increase the title and that will automatically update. This, so this is a good way to make a template out of your titles. All right, so we have no animation here and let's create something very simple. Let's reveal on our title as our box animates in. So it's very easy to do this. What we'll do, we'll simply just grab the rectangle tool and here at the top, there's a button called Tool Creates Mask. Click on that and just create a mask across your box like this and this will mask in your box. Awesome. What we'll do is we'll open up the mask one down here and we'll add a keyframe for mask path and we'll move that keyframe forward. And simply we'll grab the selection tool and we'll move the box over to one side. So now we move forward here, boom, the box will be, will be animated on by our mask. We'll make both keyframes easy, easy keyframes. So then what we need to do is take this shape layer and duplicate it. And then we'll take our duplicated shape layer, put it on top of our title layer, grab our title layer, set the track mat to alpha mat. And if you want, you can hit P on your keyboard for position on your title layer, add a keyframe. And then you can also like say animate this upward and then it'll just come straight down and that's cool. So then we grab our shape layers on our title and go to layer pre-compose and we can call it title one. And in our project window, we can grab that, duplicate it and bring it to our comp. And then simply we can go into that composition and change out our title very easily. And obviously the background will update once we type in our title and that's awesome. All right, so now I have three different titles in here very easily and all we have to do to create this look is to stagger them. So what we'll do is we'll grab one title here and we'll hit R and keyboard for rotation and we'll just rotate it just by a few degrees, nothing insane. Okay, and then we'll grab a middle title, rotate it in the opposite direction. You know, we can move it over as we see fit and we'll grab our bottom title and we can rotate it in the same degree percentage. So we'll do negative five degrees and we'll just put that right on the corner there. And we'll just go ahead and bunch these up to where we're not going to take away what the word is actually saying. So then we just need to offset these titles in time to come on at the appropriate time. So by staggering our layers in time, we can animate each title to come on at the right time when it makes sense. 
So we're starting to see how these techniques play out, but as always, be thinking about how you can apply these techniques to a variety of different projects, not just creating this one single title. But before we move on to our next technique, I wanna give a huge shout out to our title pack extension. So this is our extension right here inside of After Effects where we can preview every template that we have among all of our different packs that we have. And we can preview every template before we find something that we want and click on apply when you find the right template. And it'll automatically apply say a title animation to your composition that you can go into and easily change out your titles. And we come here to our control layer and expand out our title so we can fit in our new words because we don't want to distort any of our templates. So we allow you to just adjust the sizing very easily. We can easily change our colors with a click of a button. And we can also hide titles with a click of a button that we don't need and it won't change the animation whatsoever. And in our main composition, everything will update. And we can also add some accent motion graphics from our accent graphics pack to help spruce up our composition and bring more detail and focus to our title. So if you want to produce awesome work and save a tremendous amount of time, I will drop the links to all of our packs below. If you pick up anything off our website, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. So we have all of our title animations done. However, there is no depth in our work and we need to be able to separate our main focus, our main title from the background. So what we're gonna do is grab one of our title layers, go to a perspective and grab drop shadow. From here, we'll set our opacity up to 100% and we'll increase the softness up to like 30. And we can angle the shadow in any direction that we want. I'm gonna angle it down here to the right. And then I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this effect. And then from here, I'm gonna go into increase the distance to about 30 and then increase the softness up to like 150. Then we'll bring down the opacity just by a little bit. So now we're getting a little bit of depth here and that looks nice. So then what I'll do is I'll just take both these drop shadows, copy them, and I'll paste them to the other layers. So nice. Now we have our main title separated from the background, but this is still plain to me. And if you watch my videos, you know what I'm about to add. I'm going to go to layer, new adjustment layer, effect, noise and grain, and I'm just going to add noise. And I just want to set this up. This could be up just by a little bit. I'm going to go heavy with it. 18% non-check use color noise. That way that drop shadow with that grain just makes a huge difference and overall it's up to you but i want to make sure i have some signature touch to my work and noise is one of those things so that's how you can make your work stand out and now you're on your way to becoming a superstar in the video creation world so hope you enjoyed this video if you're new here be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel you can also hit me up on my social media networks those links are below and always be creating